everybody this is crystal so down today i'm going to show you how to make this solomon's knot or uh people call it the lover's knot um little uh wrap or shawl or a little uh tie over cowl it's just a small one but of course i'll show you how to make it as big as you want and i made it in chunky yarn and i think it looks awesome and you can really see the solomon knots using the big chunky yarn and i know if you have not done the solomon's knot before it does look intimidating, I guess, but it's actually really easy, mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you how to do it. And this is about, my piece is about 21, 22 inches um, wide. You know, that just depends on the size of your Solomon's knot. And it's approximately 42 inches long, so you can adjust the size if you'd like, or you can do it just like me. So, what you need is, what I used is... I used Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. The color that I used is called River Run. Now this is a super bulky number six. Now if you want it to look like mine, that's what I recommend. But if you want to do the Solomon's Knot in another, you know, you want to use it for a different shawl or something, that's fine. It'll work in any, any type of yarn. But this is what I used for mine. And there are 87 yards in the skein, and I just used one full skein. That's all it took me for mine. And then uh, in the picture, I put a, I had got this brooch that I uh, hooked it up with. I got this at Walmart. So if you want to use this or some type of brooch or a uh, shop pin or something to hook it up, or you can just wrap it around you. And I'm going to be using an size N, which is a 9 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, now when you're working the Solomon's Knot, there's two types of Solomon's Knots. There's an edge Solomon's Knot, and that's what's worked along the bottom and the sides. And then there's a main Solomon's Knot, and that is what, I'll show you, is worked in the middle. So, like, these are your main Solomon's, and then along the edge are your edge Solomon's. Now the only difference between them, they're made the exact same, is the ones along the edge are just a little bit smaller loops than the ones on the inside. So let me move that. Now regardless of what yarn you're using, you want to start off and you just make it the same as I do. You want to start off with the slip knot on your hook and then we're going to work a chain of two one two now we're going to go back into the very first stitch and do a single crochet we're working edge solomon's solomon knots now so what you want to do is pull up your loop i usually do about three quarters to an inch and i usually just eyeball it for the edge solomon's so you pull up a loop i put my finger here and I grab my yarn and I pull it through like that and then I go through the same spot again grab my yarn pull it through and then do a single crochet go through both loops so that is one edge Solomon's knot now I'm gonna do another so I'm gonna pull up about the same length three quarters to an inch along the edge put your finger here grab and pull it through the loop and then go back through that same spot again grab your yarn and draw it up and kind of yarn over and just do a single crochet so that's two edge Solomon's knots right there now you can make it any length you want as long as it's in multiples of two edge Solomon knots for mine I did I did 12 Solomon's knots. So I'm going to keep working here. So you pull up again. I'll show you another one. About the same size, three quarters to an inch. Put your finger here, grab your yarn, and pull it through. And then go through that same spot again, draw up a loop, and yarn over like you're doing a single crochet. So now we have three Solomon's knots there, the edge ones that are a little bit smaller. Pull up again. your finger in go through go back through again draw up a loop and yarn over like you're going to do a single crochet just like that so there's four four knots 
or four loops. One, two, three, four. Draw it up. Go through and then yarn over like you're going to do a single crochet. Again, draw it up. Put your finger through right there. Go through that loop. Go back through it again. Pull, draw up your loop and then yarn over it like you're going to do a single crochet. Just like that. So now you have six Solomon's knots. Now you keep going for whatever length you want your project. Maybe you want to make a big shawl out of this. I don't know. Maybe you want to make a pretty blanket to lay on the back of your couch. Whatever you want to do. You make this base chain as long as you want it. As long as it's done in multiples of two Solomon's knots. Now I did 12 for mine. I'm going to go ahead and stop here since I already have mine done. But for mine you want to go ahead and do 12 for the length that I did. Now what you want to do once you get your the 12 or the length that whatever you want to do. We're going to do two more edge Solomon's knots. So we pull up and do our two edge ones. So there's one. Pull up again. And there's two. And now we're going to do our main, our main Solomon's knot. And the only difference is you pull your loop up a little bit longer. I like to do about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. Just to make it, you make it a little longer than you did your other ones. And just eyeball it. But we make it the exact same way. Put your finger through. Go through like that. Go through that same loop again. Yarn over and go through both loops. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to start working and back down the chain and back down these knots. So we want to work in the fourth Solomon's knot. So this would be the first one. One, two, three, four. You want to go right into that knot and single crochet. So just kind of work your hook through it and then do a single crochet like that. Now what we're going to do is two main Solomon's knots. So we're going to pull up inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Put your finger through here and just work your knot. Go through, back through again. Pull up again. Put your finger through. Like that. Now we're going to skip one knot, this one, and work into the next. So all we do is single crochet right into that knot. So work right in through it and single crochet. Okay. Now what we're going to do is pull up and do two main Solomons again. Put your finger through, grab and pull it through, go back through again and do a single crochet. Do your other one. Pull up about the same length. They don't have to be exact. Man, my knots are not all the same length, that's for sure. And single crochet. Now we skip one knot. Skip this one and a single crochet into the next knot. So work your hook right through there and single crochet. Again, we're going to repeat that. We're going to do two main Solomon knots. Pull it up. There's one. And then pull it up again. And there's two. Now you keep working until you get to the end of your chain. You skip one and do the same thing. Now I'm already at the end. So what you do when you get to the end is you just single crochet into this last knot. Just like that. 
So that's what it's starting to look like. Okay. Now what we're going to do is do two edge solid or not. The edge ones are ones that aren't so short. Or they aren't so tall, so a little bit shorter. One, two, and then one main one, so one that's a little longer. This is how we turn every row with two edges and then one main. Just like that. Turn your work. And then you skip this first Solomon's, this first knot right here, and a single crochet into the next one. So go right into it and single crochet. Now we're going to kind of do the same thing we did the last round. Two main Solomon's knots now. There's one. Two, skip one knot and single crochet into the next knot. And this is what we're going to work until we get to the end of our chain. Two main Solomon's knots again, so two of the long ones. There's one. And once you get this down, it's really fast to work up. It'll be really easy. There's two. Skip one and single crochet into the next knot. And you do this until you get to the end of your chain. You just keep repeating this. Okay, when you met, you're coming to the end, I did my two main Solomon's knots. I'm going to skip this one and then this last knot, I'm going to single crochet right into it. Like that. And then I'm just going to repeat again. So what I'm going to do is two of the edge ones, two of the shorter ones. This is how, remember, this is how we turn every row. So there's one and two, and then one main Solomon, which is the longer one. Like that, turn your work over. Make sure you're turning your work correct. Sometimes it's easy to get lost in what you're doing. I did earlier and I, I just got lost and I had to pull some out. But now we're going to skip. See, I just about, I'm getting lost again. Okay, now I'm going to skip one knot and single crochet into the next. Just like that. So again, I'm just going to do pull up and do my two main Solomon's knots. Skip one loop, or skip one knot, this one. And you can kind of start to tell which knots that you need to skip. You can see that this one is a lot bigger. It's already been worked in. You just skip that one and the next one here is smaller. So you need to go right into that knot and single crochet. And the more rows you do, the more you'll be able to tell which knots you need to go into. Pull up again, do two more Solomon's knots. And you skip this, the next knot, which is that big fat one, single crochet into the next. Pull up, do two more, and we're just going to keep repeating this until we get to the end of our row. Okay, once you make it to the end of your row, you just skip this uh, 
your next style lemon's knot and slip stitch right here and or single crochet right here into this last one not this one here that's on the side it's this one so you're skipping one and single crocheting into the next one on the end so we'll just kind of jiggle around work your way into that knot single crochet and we're just going to keep repeating those rows do two of the edge solomon's knots and then a main one turn your work you skip this first big knot and then single crochet in this one and then do, do your two mains skip the big knot single crochet in this one do your two mains and you just keep doing that until you get this as long as you want it to be now probably can't really tell on mine because i didn't do a lot of rows but after you do a few rows and this is what it starts to look like get it kind of stretched out a bit it's really a pretty stitch that's what it starts to look like and if you want to make your loops longer than I said you know like your main ones I said an inch and a quarter to inch and a half I mean if you want to make them like longer like two inches you can do it however you want however long you want your big loops to be that's completely up to you but I usually do mine the size I told you but that's it once you're done um, what I did is I just finished out my entire skein till I could not do another row and then you just tie off and hide your tails and that's it but if you want to add another skein my son extremely long it's just kind of a small wrap um, you just can add, you can add another skein and make it longer you could start with more um, than 12 knots at the beginning like I did you know you can do 20 uh, 30 you know to make it a lot wider that's it's up to you whatever you want to use this for but I just want to show you how easy it is and how pretty it is with this thick yarn but it's really pretty too with regular yarn it's a pretty stitch but if you make this or anything else I'd really love to see a picture of it you can post a picture on my bag of day crochet Facebook page I'll put a link to that below in the description box also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I'll also put a link to that down below. And until next time, have a good day.